All right, well, hello guys. It's Bob in one KPR. And I thought I'd bring you up to speed on some of the nonsense we've been doing here with this uh, BTX uh, V6. Uh, so here it is. It's working. I'm doing a ring out. Uh, look, that, that's photographing terrible. That actually is amber, and it looks nice in the room. But I can't make it. <laughs> Anyhow, trust me. Put your way back. Ah. Stupid thing. All right. Um, this is a ring out uh, mission we're doing right now, but I figured it's been two weeks, so let's uh, let's bring you guys up to date. Uh, here's what the monster looks like. Put the light on. Uh, I got the BTX, uh, the QRP board here. I've got all my ancillary stuff lined up alongside. The power supply is fake right now. It's just in here for positioning purposes. There's a 4 amp, 4 or 5 amp transformer. Uh, there's the power supply, the bridge, and the uh, regulator for 12 volts. And uh, a lot of the nonsense down in here for uh, switch over, uh, the, uh, let's see if I can get a picture of that, that black uh, relay is the second TR switch uh, that we could use if running a linear or to invoke this thing, which is a 15 dB uh, receipt preamp, and uh, we'll show you that here. I'm, this is all, this is terrible production, but uh, there we go, there's uh a nest meter circuit that's working very well. Very, uh, very accurate readings compared to my, uh, the old faithful. There's, you guys in the know, that's a Watkins Johnson, uh, 87, 18, uh, 18 MFP. And, uh, here's the same radio without the microprocessor front panel. Brother and sister, or, I don't know cousin and uncle. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I got the S-meter working. We have now a uh, an attenuator in this position. To, uh, well, let me do it here. See if I can do it. Let me give you a little audio. I'll watch the S-meter. Okay. That's just looking, whoops, I shifted, I could hear it growling, I shifted frequency here, where are we? There, okay. Um, that's the thing about uh, sideband only, you don't have any AM, so you got to be tuned uh, right to zero beat. Um, we put in some activity lights so that when we're using this for emergency ops, you go take a break, as if you're a lone operator, uh, you can see if uh, the green light says busy, that means there's audio coming in. Somebody's talking. Uh, and if we kill the signal, I'm going to go over here. Here's an RF switch that allows us to transmit. Focus, please. Or dummy load. There is a dummy load. It's right up there against the chassis under the red wire. If you can see that. Using the whole chassis as a heat sink. Uh, below that we have the uh, the audio switch, external, internal speaker, phones, center position, and uh, mains AC power. Uh, we have the standard uh, uh, micro bit X uh, configuration here with the jacks, the mic, key, and phones. I just moved them to the front. I built an extension cable here. Uh, ribbon, uh, 18 conductors to get us back to the board. So the display is nice, nice up front. It's a pretty cool display. For those of you not familiar with it, let's see. Let's go to frequency here. We've got a little keypad. And go back to where we was. Uh, it's actually prettier than this stupid camera shows. You can go directly to the bands, as, as you can see. Those are actually in green. Why they're not showing up green? I don't know here. It's pretty. Let's see. 
All right, any, even off angle. Well, anyhow. All right. Uh, we did some uh, audio work because I noticed long-term listening, especially in sideband. You want to enhance the bass a little bit or cut the treble. Uh, the uh, the high pass also uh, is good for uh, reducing noise. You get a lot of the high frequency stuff out of the signal, and then the po little power amp I built separate to the uh, uh, micro bit X. Uh, here's a little toner. Tune load that, that I may have to change. That. I think I got a little too much inductance in here. Tune load and trim for the antenna, and of course the pain in the butt thing that won't come in. That is a beautiful amber, reminiscent of all the legacy equipment we used to have. Uh, but anyhow, all right, let's try it out here. I'm gonna go over to uh, go to 75 meters here. I'll put out a claw. Now, if you want, to watch the. I'm just going to key the mic. You watch the lights, the receive transmit light. It tells you what's going on. Uh, the meters. Uh, test, 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 test. In one KPR, testing on 75. In one KPR. Uh, as you can see, I'm on the uh, correct antenna, so the the V is. Uh, is low uh, modulation. So everything seems to be okay. The watts, I'm doing about 20 watts on, uh, let's go key down CW here. I have to go to the uh, 50 watt scale. I'm going to invoke CW on the, uh, see it? Oh, let's see what we got here. Yeah. On the 50 watt scale, it says 5 watts. Maybe I'm detuned or something. Uh, oh, well, <laughs> it was, I don't know, or the tuner's not set, maybe. Uh, oh, we're in the dummy. Let's go out here to the antenna. Oh, there's 10 watts. Hello, test, 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 test. Oh, let's see. Oh, I was in CW. I can't use voice. All right, it's been a busy day. Forgive crazy Bob. Uh, we got this far. I'm going to quit for the day and uh, go play in the garden. But that's the uh, that's the beast working, working, working. Uh, I get a hundred or two hundred hours in this now, but uh, the reason for that is mostly just uh, design as you go. So it's very time consuming. Uh, getting the SWR, the strip line sensor uh, sender over to the uh, getting the meters to work. Properly, that was uh, a lot of cut and try work. Um, back here we have. All right, I'm back. I pushed the wrong button. I'm sorry. Uh, back here we have a driver circuit to run the uh, S meter, is a little calibration pot, and the activity switches. Uh, here is a mod D mod sensor for the uh, the modulation circuit up here in the. In the meters uh, again here's a 15 DB preamp the TR relay uh, the tone circuit down here if you can see that and uh, a lot of crazy wiring that really needs to be dressed up cleaned up a little bit uh, we're gonna finish up the power supply make sure everything's okay I've got everything done here to a uh, single point wiring if you can soon turn that light off see this piece of plastic there are copper strips on here this is b plus bcc 12 regulated 12 very clean actually coming out of this uh now we're down to one one or two millivolts of uh, hash on there uh this strip is the ground bus to a center point ground on the chassis and out here is the send voltage uh for the tr switch from the logic circuits in the uh over here in the motherboard. All right, that's it. I gotta, I gotta go join these two uh, pieces now and make some sense out of it. There it is. I wish, I wish you guys could see those meters. Oh God. 
It really, it really looks like a 1950s transmitter. But, and then on this side, the uh, new millennium. All right, guys, uh, that's it. Uh, here we are, we went back. We're back to uh, AM. Well, my version of AM. There you are. All right, thanks for looking. Sorry about all the confusion here, but uh, we're in the middle of a project, and uh, I don't think Tom Edison could have done any better. He probably would have thrown you out of the laboratory. Uh, stay safe out there, you guys. Have fun with this thing, and uh, let's share all the uh, the possibilities we could do. In one KPR uh, on uh, YouTube and www.bobsamerica.com online. Thank you. Goodbye.